In this lesson, I'll show you how to convert between rectangular and polar coordinates. This is part three in the series. The question reads, the Cartesian coordinates of a point are one and one. Find the polar coordinates of this point. To do this, we'll need to use these following two formulas, where r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, and tangent theta is equal to y over x. Let's start by finding the radius. What I'll do is substitute this one and this one into x and y respectively. I end up with r squared is equal to 1 to the power of 2 plus 1 to the power of 2. This gives me r squared is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2. Therefore, r is equal to root 2. I just found the radius. Now I'm going to find the angle. So I have tangent theta is equal to 1 over 1. Tangent theta, therefore, is equal to 1. At this point, you can use your calculator if you don't know what angle this ratio represents. I do, it's theta is equal to 45 degrees. And to change this into radians, it's pi over 4 radians. Now to represent this formally, I'll write down pi over 2 as my r, and my angle is pi over 4. In question number 2, they ask, the polar coordinates of the point are 3 and pi over 6 convert to Cartesian coordinates. So this right here represents my r, and this right here represents my angle, pi over 6. I'll use the top two formulas to find out my x and y values. Starting with my x, x is equal to r, which is 3, times cosine at pi over 6. Let's go ahead and use our calculator. Make sure that your calculator is in radians. Mine is in degrees right now. So I can switch that quite easily, just like that. I have 3 times cosine pi over 6. That gives me 3 times the root 3 over 2, which is 2.59, although I prefer this. And my y is equal to my radius of 3 sine at pi over 6. Using my calculator again, 3 times sine pi over 6 gives me 3 over 2. Therefore, my point is at 3 root 3 over 2 and 3 over 2. There you have it. Two more examples on how to convert between rectangular and polar coordinates.